What's up guys, Totally Tubbed here, and today I'm going to be flashing Dark Keys V 10.1 Extreme Edition. So first of all, you want to make sure uh, you've got um, Dark Keys 10.1 in the internal SD, which can be done via USB debugging mode. Once you've done that, so as you can see I've put it here, uh, you can put anything else you want on the internal SD. You want to go into the Dark Key Configurator app, which is there and I've just ticked on wipe the device, you don't have to do that so you can leave that ticked off, I'm just ticking it on because I can um, kernel, put the put the dark voodoo kernel, um, sorry the modem doesn't matter um, you can even skip modem but uh, just stay with the recommended um, just stay with the recommended at the moment, even I put ZSJPG so just put recommend for both and put whatever you want over here so I'm just going to put the extra extra fonts the live wallpapers and swipe, that's the only three that I'm gonna, gonna do. So um, once you've done that, and uh, just just before I uh, go ahead, uh, you have to have a stock uh, JVH by, um, by Fisetto. So um, I, I ran into some problems before, so I'm just gonna, I'm going to, um, yeah, so as you can see I'm on 2.3.3, Dark Core 2.3, and um, JVH um, so there we go right so as I'm going to boot it to recovery so yeah I, I ran into some problems before um, I had um, Sarico's version of Vesetto's JVH uh, do not con get confused by the names by the way um, so Sarico's version and uh, it was a slimmed down version and uh, because of that I was missing some system apps and that um, resulted in some force closed and um, it, the system being laggy and everything so I just decided forget it um, I'll just um, Odin GV, um, JVH um, however you can if you're coming from another JVH uh, based ROM you can easily just do the CWM version um, of Facetto so um, right so now we're into recovery so you want to um, I'm gonna wipe cache wipe data remember you do not have to do this I'm only do the, doing this because I want to have a, like a clean install so to speak but again you do not have to do this right so after that is done um, you wanna make sure that your voodoo is uh, disabled as you can see disabled disabled no and no hopefully uh, the camera's focusing there it's not uh, losing out on me so make sure your voodoo is disabled as well and once the voodoo is disabled and everything you wanna go install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card and go to Darkies 10.1 Extreme Edition there we go now this will take a couple of minutes so I'll get back to you when this is done right so when that's done you want to just go back and reboot the system now here's the um, Galaxy S uh, boot right so after um, the boot animation with sound you'll get another boot animation uh, almost identical except without sound this time and so now we'll just go uh, and do the setup which I'll skip right so after you've done setup you'll get to this screen and <laughs> that's the LCD adjusting um, but anyway so yep so you'll get to this screen and this is how um, Darkies 10.1 looks like so first of all before it annoys us I'm gonna get rid of automatic brightness turn up the brightness a little bit uh, make it look good for the camera <laughs> and obviously you can see you've got the green glow over here so that's come back and so to show you about phone so we're on 2.3.3 uh, baseband which is the modem JVO uh, kernel version dark core 2.4 which has BNL BLN support sorry for that and we've got darky ROM JVH V10.1 so that's about it that's all there is to it so the only thing that I have to say that I noticed from the forums and as soon as I um, I just got on uh, before I just started the video I checked the email app and yes the email app is back to the Samsung Galaxy um, S1 shall I say uh, for people which are familiar with uh, JVH uh, well the one which Facetto made it was um, the Samsung Galaxy S2 one However, the uh, the icon is similar, is well, identical, as you can see. It's the, it's the same icon. However, the actual app itself is 
different. So yes, if it uh, does work, as you can see, Darkie's uh, gingerbread right there. But um, yeah, so I just wanted to confirm that the email app is back to um, the Samsung Galaxy S1. So obviously the stock one, which comes with Samsung Galaxy S. So I hope you've enjoyed that video, guys. Please do rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, and also, please do consider donating to um, to the Darkie team. Um, also, Facetto is trying to get a Samsung Galaxy S2 at the moment, so uh, please do uh, donate to him. So uh, just keep the keep the developers happy, and um, obviously they'll uh, provide us with great ROMs, kernels, and themes and whatnot. So just try and uh, consider, you know, if I could just give five pounds to them, or you know, anything, any sort of donation, it'll help them out. So there you go guys, um, I'll uh, catch you soon, hope you enjoyed the video.